Virtual consultation is a really good tool for explaining different types of conditions. And uh, let's take the topic of posture. So if the patient comes into the office, maybe you want to explain to them uh, the effects of poor posture. Uh, you can go ahead and click on the posture feature. There's a number of different features here that you can use in association with good posture or poor posture. So uh, if we click on posture, it'll bring up this set of animations. And we do a lot of these animations where there's side uh, by side views there. So a lateral view on the left and a posterior view on the right. So here we're basically showing hyperkyphosis. We can also, with one click, switch it over to hyperlordosis. One more click. We can focus on some things that uh, we're seeing. Obviously, doctors are seeing quite a bit now. So uh, on the left-hand side, we show somebody that uh, is there texting. And you can see in the neutral position, uh, 0 degrees, uh, the head is 10 to 12 pounds. But now when it's forward just 15 degrees, now effectively it's 27 pounds. When it's 30, 30 degrees, it's effectively 40 pounds, so on and so forth. And you can also see somebody on the right that's at the desk. And in both cases, uh, eventually there's going to be uh, problems associated with that and pain as a result. Now if we want to go ahead and uh, take a look at those same sort of animations, but this time let's hook the muscles on and see what the muscles do. <coughs> so we'll bring up a set of animations. Again, on the right-hand side we have the posterior view, lateral view on the left-hand side. This is upper cross and lower cross syndrome. So we can advance the animation. We can show the regions of muscles that get engaged and over time they're going to tighten in some areas other areas they're going to begin to weaken because they're no longer being utilized. So this is basically hyperkyphosis and the regions of muscles that uh, are affected by that. We can also look at hyperlordosis and then we can even take a look at this other set of animations. And a lot of doctors really like this a lot but basically on the right hand side we're showing upper cross syndrome, on the left hand side we're showing an animation of an x-ray. So as this patient has this forward head posture thing going on you can see the muscles engaging, darker colors are where they're going to tighten, uh, yellow is where they're going to weaken, again no longer being utilized as much. But on the left hand side you can see what happens to the cervical spine, so degeneration of the cervical spine. Now if we want to take that a step further we can go over to uh, let's say the degeneration set of animations as well. So we can show uh, degeneration of the cervical spine or degeneration of the lumbar spine. And uh, again, we use an animation of an x-ray on the left-hand side, color 3D model on the right. Uh, if you want to draw on the screen, there's a, a really easy-to-use drawing tool in here as well, too, so we can kind of emphasize what good curvature looks like. And then we can advance the animation. So if you do have an x-ray, you can kind of line that up with where the patient is. So there's normal. Maybe the patient is here, and you want to make sure they don't end up over here. Now, if you just play this animation, it's kind of cool. And what we show is on the right-hand side, we're going to show the spinal cord. We're going to show the nerve impulses firing. And as the degeneration gets worse and worse, you can see those nerve impulses slowing down. We're seeing cord tension. So there's spinal cord tension on the right-hand side. We know that occurs. And then if you want to take that even a step further, you can go over to some of the different types of nerve charts. So, if you want to bring up the Dermatones chart, this is a real easy to use Dermatones chart. We have a couple of them in this product. We have the Myotones chart. We can get into that peripheral nervous system chart. And then we actually have three different organ charts. So here's the original. I'm going to show you the original. And then I'm going to show you uh, the more recent one that we've done uh, too. And uh, this is a really cool one. I think about in the old days when, when uh, the doctors used to purchase uh, the uh, organ charts and you push a button hang it on the wall and it was very valuable at the time and this is kind of similar but um, we do this with um, software and technology so here you can see an interactive spine we see the brain we see the organs and uh, I don't know if you can see everything here let me bring that into view and let's position that <clears throat> so basically this is your your organ chart and I know my doctor has this poster or had this poster in this practice. So we can click on any one of these segments. If we click on the C1 segment, we're going to basically show that the flow of nerve activity in all the different organs and body parts can be affected when there's a problem with the C1 segment. If we go over to the C2 segment, let's see if we can move uh, everything within view there. You can see um, these various glands that are affected by it. I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, different uh, segments here. I'm going to click on C5. You can see this one here. And I apologize if some of these uh, 
some of this content is not in your view here. But um, we can click on T2, that's the heart. We can scroll down, go to T3, we can go to any other segment. But the idea is that if everything is flowing well, the nervous system is functioning well, the spinal cord is not, um, it's not stretched or narrowed, uh, maybe the patient is getting regular adjustments, then it's likely that the nervous system is going to be functioning properly. But if there's a problem with a particular segment, and I'll click on C4, guess what? Here's the different organs that can be affected by that. And we can go all the way down to the lumbar segments as well. Too. So I'm going to click on L5, and you can see those particular organs affected by uh, that particular segment. So we'll close that up. That's a little uh, demonstration of some of the, the uh, animations associated with posture and virtual consultation. There's so much more, though. There's more animations you can pull out, take a look at, and then uh, also uh, you can generate a report with care plan and exercises. You can either print it off and uh, hand it to the patient, or if you wanted to email it, you can email it directly to the patient from the tool as well. So hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Thank you.